today and uh, the coming week. You've all met Sergio, our founding partner of Geo Wines, is our exclusive partner for making, selecting and producing these wines here in Chile. And Alvaro Espinosa, grand hero of uh, not only discovering the variety of Carmenere in Chile, but also single-handedly introducing organic and biodynamic uh, uh, farming techniques and winemaking in this country as well, that before this man came into the planet, uh, or was simply thinking about industrial standards and producing industrial wine. Uh, he had a huge impact. Uh, Alvaro is a very low-key kind of guy, but uh, he's really a mover and shaker as far as Chile is concerned. Um, you've met uh, uh, Manuel, who is the uh, sales and marketing associate for Geo Wine, so all questions on the trip can be answered by him as well. He will be with us uh, the entire time of uh, the trip. And uh, we've got uh, Felipe here. He is the marketing uh, uh, director and general manager for Kintai Winery. Where he will explain about Kintai with how many locations, partners, how their winemaking works. Uh, a little bit now, but mostly when we are in a shadier place at the winery and tasting the wine, we don't need to do this here under the uh, noon hot boiling sun. But you, you, you want to warm weather. This is it. You, you have a thing on the Usually we, usually we like to start here in Casablanca because this is the coolest winemaking area in, in Chile. Today, this must be one of the hottest days here. Uh, we, have very, we feel very little of the cooling influence from the Pacific Ocean. Uh, so you have to imagine and to trust our word, this is a cool climate. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not today. Not today. <laughs> okay. Um, Philip, no. just say two, three words about what we see around us here. What you've built, what you planted, and then we will do all the rest of the history we will do at the winery. Something, something important also in your schedule. We're going to have lunch at one. So okay. everybody, if it is hungry. At one? At one. Pero en el macerá vamos a almorzar. Yes. Pero son diez para una. No, Chile, 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 one. Chile, 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 Chile one. But and also we're meeting Juan Carlos Faundes at the winery. Yes. This is another winemaker and associate of Tio Wines mm -hmm. that he's preparing the samples to get everything ready for yeah. the table. He's the the winemaker. In production winemaking responsible together with Alvaro at Tio Wines. Then you will have met almost the entire company already. Well, first of all, welcome Chile. Welcome to Casablanca. The idea is to come here to see really a terroir of Casablanca and a property of Casablanca. Casablanca, you are going to find different valleys inside. There are almost four, four uh, the whole valley is 40,000 hectares and planted are big numbers. 4,000 hectares are planted. And in the group of Quintai, we manage and we are um, owners, the owners of Quintai, owners almost 25% of the properties in Casablanca, almost 800, 700, 800 hectares in production. So yes. this is not a huge cooperation here. Before, they, these eight owners got together. There were eight individual small farms, all too small in their operation to represent Thank an own winemaking entity. So they decided as eight owners to form sort of like a winemaking joint venture and bring together eight different locations, eight different qualities, mostly of Sauvignon Blanc. Twelve. Twelve locations, but eight ownerships. There are eight, right? Oh, they've been wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the idea is that it's the same idea. Twelve di different locations, different properties. We use in Quintai almost five, ten percent of the production. The other is sold to different uh, companies here in Chile. And the idea is to select the best grapes of each property to our own wine. So that is something very interesting for the winemaking because they can select the best wine each year and that has given us a very good quality. We have been top of, top of the board of the quality of Casablanca every year because we select the best grapes for our own wine, our own uh, Quintai uh, wines that you are going to, to taste now in, 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 in the bodega. On the road driving up here I pointed out uh, to the right a uh, winery facility uh, uh, from the bus that is in construction right now that will be their uh, winery where they will be making wine. 
uh, currently the wine is made uh, uh, here of a, another facility is already existing here where they rent uh, tank space and do their own winery operation under Alvaro and Juan Carlos. We will go tasting to that one. Yes, that, that is very important because we we began first with the properties, then when we began with the with the market with all the the help of your wines, and now we are building our own bodega. Uh, our own bodega is going to be ready this harvest. So in next month we we need to have it ready. Yeah? Um, you see his face always. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have any white here, Felipe, a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea here, you can see what is Casablanca. You have a, a good sightseeing here. And this is the upper part of Casablanca. Casablanca you can divide in three different parts. The first place is near to the sea that I think that we're going to see in the afternoon, Sergio, no? Of a sea? No, 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 we're not. We're not but you can show in the, in the, yeah. in the way, no? It's because it's, although Casablanca is a big appellation, as Felipe said, it has a, it's 40,000, 40, but it's, uh, it's only 4,000 4, hectares planted, but it's, a, it's quite big. But because the weather in Chile is so dominated by, uh, by the seashore, because the, the ocean is very cold because we have a cold stream of water coming from the South Pole, South Pole, the Humboldt current, and that changes the weather through the coast. So the closer we get to the seashore, the colder the weather gets. We are here, the, and this place maybe we're 40 kilometers, 35 kilometers from the seashore. Yeah, uh, and, yes. the, and the nearest is going to be 15, 14. 20 kilometers. Yeah. So there's some vineyards, 12 kilometers or 15. So what, a, what does that mean? Is that, that we have a sea breeze influence. There's a lot of wind blowing, not today precisely. But that makes that the maximum temperature gets to 25 or 26 Celsius, say for an hour or half an hour. Then it drops at night to 12, even 10. While in Santiago, we may have 32, 33, having, you know, between 25 and 32 that temperature for yeah. six yeah, hours. Yeah, this is July because today is totally different. Yeah. No, 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 but it's not so no. different. At 3 o'clock, you are going to see the wind here. Yeah. So, so yeah. Every, every afternoon, right? Yeah. Yes. Every afternoon. At 3 o'clock, you are going to receive the, the symptoms because the change of the, we imagine of the weather. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you will feel it. You will feel it. <laughs> yeah, you will already. So, sorry, Felipe, doing quick job. This is yeah, one yes, part of Casablanca, which is up in Casablanca. So it's a bit warmer than... How old is this vineyard? Is this one, guys, the vineyard? Yeah, this vineyard, these are five years old. Four years the, old. The, the first project is five years old, and we have been part planting the last year old, so it has been increasing year by year. But this is a new property. Mm -hmm. yeah. ah, this is a new property. A new property. Mina. When mm -hmm. Then you are going to see in the map, we have also, when you see some smoke there, mm -hmm. there we have also, some, we get some, uh, some grapes. And then in the whole valley, when you are going to Casablanca or to the bodega, you are going to see some places that also are part of our property, yeah, where we select. So. What you can find there? Different terroirs, different altitudes, different exposition north or, or south. That you can see the hills are totally different. What are more dry? That that hills and that hills you are going to see more vegetation, more green. So which place you are? Also, you are going to be nearer or farther to the sea. So the same that such as you. And the other thing important is to see the different soils. Yeah, because are different soil. So what is very good for the wine making is you have very different alternatives of wines to do the best wine. So this is what we want to show here. Huh? Just a few words, uh, because we will be tasting some of the things that we have done. Do you want 